on today's ProPresenter show, how to turn sideways vertical video from this into this. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Pro Presenter Show. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. You know, sometimes at the last second, you'll get a video and you just don't have time to deal with it, but it needs to go into your Pro Presenter presentation. So what do you do when it's a vertical video? And to add insult to injury, when you bring it into Pro Presenter, it's sideways, like the video that I used in the intro. Well. Let's head over to my computer and take a look. Someone shows up late with a vertical video. You might copy it onto your hard drive and it'll look just like this. And you'll think, no problem, I'll just bring that into ProPresenter. It won't look perfect, but it'll be okay. But let me show you what happens when you do pull that into ProPresenter. So let's head over here. Not this. This is what you want. What it actually does, let's copy over into Finder, actually, let me first show you, if you bring it in as a background, it's sideways. If you bring it in as a foreground, it's sideways. If you bring it in onto a slide, let me show you that one. So that's this one. If you bring that into a slide, it's also sideways. So you might be thinking, no problem, what I'll do is I'll go into Media Properties. So if you tried to do it from the slide, I'm right clicking, nothing's happening. You can't bring that up. I can right click on this slide and there's no Media Properties. So if I go to the foreground version, Media Properties. No problem, I'll just go into Properties here and um, Effects, Info. Well, I could flip horizontally, but that only does that. I could flip vertically, but that only does that. So what I really need to do is turn it 90 degrees. So that doesn't work in the foreground, and as you might guess, it doesn't work in the background. So if I, again, go into Media Properties, again, only two choices here. I can flip horizontally, I can flip vertically, but I cannot do anything else. So there are a couple of ways to deal with this. Uh, the first way is if you bring it in right here as an object, which you can do by either dragging it directly onto the slide in the editor, has to be in the editor, drag it directly onto the slide in the editor, or uh, click here and navigate to it. In fact, let me do just that. Um, that's in desktop. So I click there. If I do that, see I've got two copies here. I'll show you why I did that here in just a second. If I do that and select it, it's got to be a, a slide element. It can't be a background. It has to be a slide element. Then right here on this tab, I have this cool thing. 90. Bam. Let me do the same thing with the one behind it. And what I also want to do is, since there's two copies, I'm going to make sure I've got the one behind it, and I'm going to get rid of the volume. Just make that go away. Also make sure that it's set to stop. Same thing here, make sure that that is set to stop, but I want to leave the volume correct here. Okay, so now let's go back here, and 
you'll notice that I've got more video than it is showing. So let me start by um, keeping in mind that I've rotated it. So 1280 width is not correct. It's actually, well, it is correct, but I've rotated it. So what I would want to do is 720. And that makes that right, because it's a 720p video. But if I wanted to do um, 720 actually let me do that on this one here. 720. Okay. So I could just play the one with the black background. Nothing wrong with that. But the reason I brought in this second one here, here, is, and let's make sure, because I've, yeah, that's the one I want, because it has no volume, is because instead of making it the same size, I actually want it to be much bigger. So let's make it 1280 tall, which, because I rotated it, is actually uh, 1280 wide. So that's correct. And let's uh, stretch to fill. Or actually scale to fill. Yeah, scale to fill is what I want. Okay, now I can put this here and have this one as my background. Now, going back to this tab, you'll notice we've got this opacity. So, make sure that I'm selecting the big one again, and let's change the opacity to, say, 75%. Not good enough. Let's try 60. Maybe 40. Because I don't want this to distract from the foreground, but I do want to keep the same thing in the background. I could also, on the small one here, let's make sure the box is here. I can do a drop shadow and just a couple little things to make it work okay and then that will play just fine the uh, the downside of doing this is that first off um, let me make sure the volume is off first off when I do this you'll notice I don't have playback control it's playing, you can see it moving, but I don't have playback control. That's because it's on the slides layer. The other problem is I can't trim it. So I actually did three takes of this in one video and it didn't work. So let me hit clear all and let me show you the other way to do it. The other way, and you'll see I've done this already, is to open it up in QuickTime. So open with QuickTime Player, and then I can go to where I want, go to File, Edit, Trim, and I can trim it to however I want it to be, and then once I do that and click Trim, and then File, I'm going to do export as, and in this case 720p, because this was taken with an iPhone 6s, 720p, um, then I'll get something like this. Let me kill QuickTime right here. It's going to ask me if it wants to save it. I don't want to. So I did it like this, and now it looks right here, and if we go back into ProPresenter, and edit slide. Let me get rid of this one. Back 
to desktop and so I've got this trimmed one I can bring that in and QuickTime tells it no I actually want this to be vertical so ProPresenter recognizes it at that time so those are a couple of different ways to deal with that problem when you have vertical video that's sideways I do want to say that I brought in the vertical video here as a background and uh, it had stretch to fit on so instead of me looking like this I've miraculously gained a lot of weight very quickly so you do want to make sure that you don't make that mistake but um, I could in this case now that this is like that I could uh, bring that in as a foreground as well and have transport controls uh, just as I do on this background so those are the different ways of dealing with vertical video that is flipped the wrong way in ProPresenter. Well, so I hope that that was helpful to you. As it turns out, there is a way to deal with it, although you've got to kind of think outside the box to do it. Unless, of course, you open it up in QuickTime, which is absolutely necessary if you need to trim the video. If you like this content, I know that you'll like some of the free ProPresenter courses that I offer. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro six hacks h-a-c-k-s mini m-i-n-i to get the mini course version of the course that will have this video in it until next time this is paul allen clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com go out and change eternity